Patrick, welcome to the Rotor Experts New York studios. How do you like the digs? I, it, it's so much better than the last time I was here. You think so? Oh, I do. All right, we're going to talk some baseball. Baseball season is just getting underway. There have been a couple of games played already here. And uh, we're going to go and talk a little bit about the category leaders historically all time for the best seasons ever. And then we're going to try to get your picks uh, for your predictions on who's going to win this year. All right. Who's going to do the best. Hey, hit me. First right, one. Here we go. Let's go with single season strikeout leaders. Who would you guess is the single season strikeout leader? For a batter? All time. No pitcher. To who's led the majors in? In striking batters out. Randy Johnson. Randy Johnson. Would be my guess. Randy Johnson comes in with the uh, 11th highest total. He had a year of Ever. 372 strikeouts. Is 372. It, is it Nolan Ryan? No, Nolan Ryan uh, comes in at uh, 383 with the eighth highest total. Are we talking about people from like the dead ball era here? Like, wait, what, what yeah, year? They're, what? they're very, this, this person is very dead. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. All right. Uh, Matt Kilroy. Okay. Matt Kilroy. 513 strikeouts. How many innings do you have to pitch? I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> that was in 1886. Uh, I'll tell you that, uh, first of all, a lot of people struck out in 1886. Uh, apparently. Because Toad Ramsey had 499 strikeouts. Yeah, and he finished in second in strikeouts that year. So let me ask you this while I look up how many innings he pitched. What would what would you bid on Matt Kilroy this year if he was in your... If he had 500 and some odd strikeouts? Last year. If he, if he was the U Darvish and looking, look, you know. If he was coming off that sort of season and he wasn't hurt, I think he would ha probably have to be the first pick in drafts, wouldn't he? Uh, he He's striking out over 200 more batters than anyone else in baseball. He pitched uh, 583 innings. <laughs> All right. All right. So how much would you bid on him? I, I would spend seventy dollars on him. He would be the by far the best player. All right, Kilroy, seventy bucks for Kilroy. All right, now you don't have that much money left, but we're, yeah, we're well, gonna move on. Okay. I don't need all that much money. I have Kilroy. S single season <laughs> ERA leader, all time single season. Single season. I feel like this is is it someone outside of the dead ball era? So some of these people, uh, gentlemen, is very dead. This, this gentleman. The, this is gentleman. They, they, they actually, some of these records that it looks like they're, they're current, relatively current, but not. But not this not one. This one. No. Um, this one predates Kilroy. What? Yes. Ah, uh, I have no idea. Is uh, he from 1878? 1880. 1880. So there's a there's a chance he was in the Civil War, then went and pitched later. Tim Kilroy. Uh, Tim Keefe. Tim Kilroy was the other guy. So who's, Keefe, who's the most current one? Matt. Eight Pedro Martinez. Dutch Leonard in 1914 had a point nine six one. All right. Uh, Mordecai Brown, that was the three fingers. Three fingers. Mord yeah. Mordecai three fingers. 1906, uh, 1.038. Bob Gibson is the most current. most recent. 1.123, 1968. Really? 1 1.123. I didn't realize it was that low. That's impressive. Yeah. Uh, most current guy you've ever seen here has got to be uh, Maddox. Be I would Pedro. Think. Pedro, no? Pedro, Maddox, or even uh, Kershaw from last year. Kershaw was 180. Mordecai. Mordecai's up here. Three fingers. Where is it? No, it's not. Um, so no one. Apparently hitting has taken over in baseball over the past 150 years. Yeah, Dwight Gooden at number 42, 1529. Yeah, you're not seeing the number ever. I must have missed somebody. I thought Pedro... Uh, no, I, I'm pretty sure Pedro's was 1.7 something. Okay. All right. That he did it. And that was just such a crazy anomaly that year. I mean, look at... I mean, Kershaw going sub two last year was yeah. rather insane. Yeah. And something that's completely unrepeatable, but... All right, well, who, who, who's your uh, your guy for this year? Who's going to lead the league in earn run average, major leagues? I would probably say it's going to be Kershaw again, although he is a bit banged up right now. But That was a great idea to stick him on a flight for 14 Oh, yeah, smart move. It was like Dervish slept wrong, and now he's out of it. it, it it's going to be someone weird and someone who pitches in a good ballpark. Like Even if, let's say, Andrew Kashner led the league in ERA this year, I wouldn't find that all that surprising. But you're probably going to look at your Jose Fernandez's. Uh, it's not you don't gonna, think anybody's going to break two. I don't think, I, I, I doubt it. It's, right. it's breaking two is pretty tough, but like Felix Hernandez is probably the only AL pitcher that could do it. Just with, with so much hitting in the AL, it's not going to happen. Give me one, give me a guy. Steven Strasburg. Season leader in whip? Season leader in whip, and you've actually seen the guy play. What? Really? Yeah. I have. Yeah. I've seen him play. You may have even seen him play in person. I don't know. Really? Is it Juan Guzman? No. He had one really. His 92 year was unbelievable. Juan <laughs> Guzman. 
Okay. No. Is it Pedro? Yes, it is. Okay. 0.7373 in 2000. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad actually took me up to watch the Expos play. Right. And they had a weird scheduling delay. Yeah. And we wanted to go see Pedro pitch because he's Pedro Martinez. You, how often do you get to see a Hall of Fame pitcher in person pitch when you don't live in the city where the team plays? So we drove up and we thought he was going to pitch, but they scheduled a rain like makeup game right. for that Monday, which we didn't know about. You know, no internet back then. So we drove up for the Tuesday game when Pedro was supposed to pitch. He pitched Monday. We got to see Ugith Urbina pitch. I used to roll his sleeves oh, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. He's also... Uh, you know, this guy, Tim Keefe, in 1880, had a hell of a I year. I gotta see these now. He, oh, he Matt Maddox is there, though. Yeah, he threw to a uh, point eight, Tim Keefe. That's, that's just not happening anymore. All right, so who's your uh, whip leader this year? Whip leader this year, the same guy that I basically take every year. It's Cliff Lee. You want to always take someone who okay. just has it down and walks. Uh, Adam Wainwright could be on that list. Kershaw could be on that list, too. And Jose Fernandez. Uh, he, okay. Shockingly, he just didn't walk a lot of batters last year. Uh, which is incredible poise. For a young, for a young guy. Exactly, yeah. yeah. For, he's incredible poise and incredible command for someone that young who throws as hard as he does, so he could definitely be in that mix. Okay. All right, well, let's go to a category you have a, a, a chance of getting this one. All right. Saves, all-time save leader. Eric Gagne. No. It wasn't close, that? but no cigar. Didn't Actually, Gagne, not that close. Didn't Gagne have like 71 here? No, he had 55 in 2003. What, what's, what's the total? 62. 62. Hmm. It's is it someone weird too, isn't it? No. Well, I, he, he may be weird. Is it a big name closer, uh, or is it he, just someone who was on a lucky team one he, year? He he beat up his baby mama. Oh, it was a K Rod. Yeah, K Rod. Yeah, okay, K Rod. K Rod. Yeah. 62 in 2008. But I think that speaks a lot to. I mean, K Rod. Well, he's known as a great closer over the years. He really only had that one really great run when the Angels won the World Series. He's apparently known by beating up his baby. Yeah, mama. Apparently, <laughs> it just sparks that right away. But it's all about opportunities with save. Bobby Thigpen. 1990, he had it 57, then where the hell did he go? Yeah, he probably had 70 save opportunities. That's why someone like Kimbrell, I mean, you can spend the high money on him because you know he's going to be good, but the Braves just might not get a lot of save opportunities. And what do you think Smoltz had 55 in 2002, and he also had the great starting career? Is he an automatic Hall of Famer? I, th I think he should be, where he was dominant in both roles, and the fact that he was able to conform and be a closer coming off major arm surgery. That's how he worked himself back up to be a starter, and then he left the bullpen to become a starter again. He was a good starter. I, you know, I didn't realize uh, Gagne had 52 and 55. Who he saved? I uh, was at the game when he broke the record. Mariano's at, uh, high Stadium. was 53. And, but doesn't that seem strange? Just the Yankees uh, have, in that for period. For a while, the Yankees were blowing people Exactly. Out they didn't play a lot of close but games. But that's, that's the, the, the one of the reasons why you don't necessarily have to have an elite the, a closer on the best team to get no, a lot of saves. You're better off. That's why Greg Holland is so valuable in to Kansas play close City. games. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not beating teams 20 to yeah. 2. That's not happening. Okay. But All it's right. hard. The one problem is it's hard to predict who those teams yeah. are going to be in the course of the year. Relievers in general, there's only a handful of people who you can count on every single year for closer. Even if so. that thing rotates. You oh. know, it was Mariano, there was Hoffman, there was Joe Nathan to some extent. There's, there's a handful of every year they're in the top. But other than that, you never know from year to year. Well, I know. saw you talked about it with Trevor Rosenthal. Like, he could be three bad pitches away from losing his job. He well, really he, could be. He he had eight save opportunities, and he only saved three. You know, but somehow he's a top whatever closer. It's because he plays on you, he plays yeah. on a team people expect to do well, yeah. so therefore you think that leads to a lot of opportunities. That's not necessarily the case. I love a strikeout rate. That's great. But when you power rank these closers in terms of job security, there's yeah. probably only five that can realistically blow three games in a row and keep their job. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on to, oh, well, who's, so who's your saves uh, prediction? prediction? Who, who, uh, if gonna, Tommy, this, this Hunter Tommy Hunter can keep the job, although I think Grant Belfour leads the league in saves, but as someone who, um, if Tommy Hunter wins that job, or he has won the job, but if he can keep the job in Baltimore, like Jim Johnson's not a good closer, back-to-back -back 50 save seasons, Baltimore plays close games. Yeah. They're a team that doesn't blow a lot of teams out, and they have a very poor pitching staff to begin with. So even if they do score a lot of runs, the other team tends to catch up. Right, right. Okay. All right. Uh, when, what do you suppose the total is going to be about? 50? 50. I'd 50. take the under on 50. I'd say 48. Okay. Let's move on to wins. Oh, wins. wins. Perfect. Single season leader for wins. Give me a guess. Babe Ruth. 46 no. or something. No. Um, Cy Young. You're, you're, by your, your number is way too low, by the way. Oh, really? Is, yeah. is, it, is it like 71 wins no, no, in the no, season? No, not that. No, no. 50? Over, over, over 50. Over 50? Is it Cy Young? No. He has, what, 500 and something wins? So. Yeah. Who is it? It is uh, Old Haas Radberg. Oh, really? 59 I, wins in 1884. Apparently nobody was hitting the ball in the 80s. Apparently not, but uh, Old Haas Radborn, quite the follow on Twitter. Twitter <laughs> sensation. He's, he's fantastic. 
Uh, Jay Sp uh, Al Spaulding. He doesn't have to do with that. All right, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to think of guys. I mean, the the most recent example. This I guy, Matt Kilroy, 146. One is Matt Kilroy? I've never heard of Matt Kilroy. Is he in the Hall of Fame? I mean, he should be. He really should be. <laughs> let me see. I'm trying to look at the most in the, in the modern era. I'm thinking it's got to be maybe uh, Carl, Steve Carlton that one year when he 27, won. 27, was it? He won. Yeah, and the team only won 60 yeah. or something. I mean, most recently, Verlander won 24 three years ago. That's the most I can uh, remember in a very long time. Here. Oh, wait, the guy from the Tigers who went to jail, 68 or so, uh, who's... Bit before my time, uh, not going to lie to you. Um, it was, uh, what the heck was his name? He won uh, 31 games. This is thrilling 30. stuff here. You should uh, really Matt do... Matt Kilroy had it in, in 86, 1886, 29, 1889, many, 29 again. How many teams were in baseball in 1886? We just strike out like... <laughs> Like Kilroy people, was just playing his kid. Yeah, it's just him pitching I know he's going to kick out. They say the Cincinnati Reds were the same, uh, were the first baseball team. team. And, and That's why they get they the opening. Start, well, they used to. Now they start. But in, they still get the opening home. Yeah, but how could they be first? They had to play somebody. That had to be two first teams. <laughs> that team's not around anymore. Did they just barnstorm? I don't know. That had to be two first teams. You can't. Well, um, don't ask me. This is, you know, over 100 years before Robert, I was born. Robert's 28. Grover, uh, Mark, who the hell was Mark uh, Steve Carlton, 27. 27. Look at yeah, Cy I'm Young. Thinking, Cy Young's who got the heck was that guy that... Who, who's Pud Galvin? Look at those years. 28, couple years in a row. That's a name, Pud Galvin. All right, who's going to... Well, I looked at some... Who's going to win this year? Impossible to know. Uh, that's well, a, who's going to lead the league? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making a prediction based on you nothing. Gotta. Uh, Morency needs something to bet like, off of. Look, 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 I talked about this with Morency on his show that... You, wins are just so unpredictable. They're, wins are a team stat. They're not an individual stat because circumstance plays such a role in it. If you have a good bullpen, that helps you out. But it's hard to determine who has a good bullpen year to year. That right. can that can flip on a dime. I so I guess you would take the, the best team. Who's the best team in baseball? But people want to say it's the Dodgers. I disagree. It's probably the Nationals. The Nationals probably have the I ability. I happen to like the Nationals. The Nationals probably have the ability. They may not be the best team. Especially since the, the, uh, the weak Braves pitching went to The crap. weak division, the National League, uh, not a ton of hitting in the National League, at least compared to the American League. So I would say Gio Gonzalez, Jordan Zimmerman. I, I don't necessarily think Strasburg makes it through the whole year. So Gio or Zimmerman would be my pick for most wins. Let's go to the hitting side. Okay. Okay, hitting side. So we're going to go um, batting average. Single season batting average leader. The average was 439.7. What? Yeah. 439. Pre or post depression era. He's very dead. <laughs> like over 100 years dead? He, he, he probably played against Tim Keefe and... Uh, well, probably not because no one can hit Tim Kiefer. Are you saying... <laughs> Same era. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. It was it Onus Wagner? Hugh Duffy. Okay. I've heard the name. 1894. Okay. Tip O'Neill. Was that the Speaker of the House? Tip, yeah. Tip O'Neill. Yeah, 1887, a different guy. Um, we got uh, Nat Blasway. I'm trying to think. Rogers Hornsby, people know that name, 1924. I'm thinking modern day, yes. Modern day. Let's go modern day. Ted Williams. Is, 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 is Ted Williams the last one to go over 400? Yeah, four. Yeah, four oh five. Because Matt Mauer was right there a few years ago, and he ended up fading just down the stretch. Check this out, Billy Hamilton. The this is the guy I was talking about before. There's there going to be some more interesting stats on Billy Hamilton. It's just and not, this might not the Billy Hamilton we think about. Well, he may be. <laughs> wait, wait, wait till we get to him. Billy Hamilton hit four oh three. Um, if he can get half of that this year. <laughs> He's going to steal 400 bases. Uh, who, what do we got here? 390. Didn't um, Boggs come close one year? Yeah, I, I feel like they Babe all... Babe Ruth hit 392 one year. Babe Ruth didn't play against black people Jesus. either. Jesus. So his, his stats... What does that have to do with... Because the, co the competition's just down. That's why all these numbers are down. Billy Hamilton if you're not hit gonna... 389 too. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Uh, I'm surprised he was allowed to play in this era. Rod Carew, 388. But that's my argument against all the steroid stuff, by the way. What, if you black look, people? Uh, Dominican players, Caribbean players, international players, black players. The competition was so watered down back pre-Jackie Robinson that you, know, you were facing scrub pitchers. You could hit, it would be like batting practice. 
Of course, you're going to hit a bunch of home runs and hit 425. Billy Hamilton hit 380. Uh, gee, this Billy Hamilton, he's going to... I got to look and see if Hamilton's in the... Uh, see if you can get his retro stats going. Hamilton, is he in the Hall of Fame? He's got to be in the Hall of Fame. That, that, that doesn't... He's, he's not, but what is... Okay, listen, look at his career stats. How, how well do you think this guy would do in baseball wait, wait today? Wait we get to Hamilton's run scored and stolen bases. Five foot six, 165 pounds. Wait. Come on. He averaged... Uh, what did he average? Look, look, look at his stolen bases. 111, 102, 111, 197. In batting, batting average. You're just killing it in 1895. 325, 340, 330, 380, 403, 389. How's this guy not in the Hall of Fame? I don't know. You got to take, take it up with the voters. Maybe they think he's real life, Billy. He's got his own page here. All right. Well, well, anyway, all right. Average so, leader, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera. I, he's won the batting title. Uh, give me somebody else. But he's won the he's, look. He's won the batting title three years in a row. That's, that's one league. Did he win it in both leagues? I can't remember. Maybe. No, oh, it didn't. Uh, he's the safest bet to keep the average up there. I mean, Maurer could be in play. Uh, Buster Posey could be in play. Yeah, in Colorado, won it last year in the National League, right? Kadire. Kadire. Yeah, but his batting average of balls in play was like a hundred points above his career average. He's going to regress. Not huge, but he's not going to hit three thirty again. What, what was uh, Chris Johnson's bat? Really high, but in his circumstance, where he only faced platoon batting, okay, his so he's line, only batting against lefties. His, yeah, his line drive percentage was—it's a great role for him, but his line drive percentage was through the roof because he was always in a favorable matchup. Something that he'll do again this year. But if they put him in against righties, expect to see a big decline in his numbers. Runs batted in RBI. RBIs. Again, almost like wins, they don't tell you anything about a player's skill, they tell you about his opportunity and circumstance. So who's the best team? Hack Wilson yeah. had a, a lot of opportunity, apparently. Yeah, probably. 191 RBI. It's a lot of RBIs. It is. But like, it was like that year, remember Juan Gonzalez had like 170? Yes. Or you get close to 100 at the All-Star Brain. The Lou Gehrig litters this list. He's 173, 173, but those 185. Were, but That's those unbelievable. Were, but he also hit fourth in those dynasty Yankee yeah. years where they were the only good team. There was always guys on base for him to knock in. All right. In the current era, guess guess who it is? In the current era? It's not Juan Gonzalez? No. It's not A-Rod? No. Uh, I'm trying to think of who would have hit in the middle of laps. Jimmy Fox? No, no, no. Like you watch him play. That, that I watch him play. That current. Uh, I know Carlos Delgado had over a hundred one year before the All Star break, which was pretty impressive. I, I think he ended up with one forty or something like that. Uh, it's not A Rod. Albert Bell would be uh, Manny Ramirez. Oh yes, one sixty five. Right. In uh, so the, so your guess again? You're going to go with uh, Cabrera? I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, I would go with Cabrera. I guess if you were to look at it in a bunch of different ways, uh, Alan Craig has but, a great but don't opportunity. Don't you find with a lot of these things? You pick. It's almost like people. Prince Fielder. I, 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 I thought, like you know, Kershaw going so early this year and stuff like that. It's like when you when you're looking at that. Would you rather pick him being the best pitcher or the field? Would I'd you rather, rather pick, pick, Oh, pitching or, is so with, with, with pick a Carrera, Cabrera or the field. Doesn't the field have a better opportunity? Oh, much better. I mean, t from this season to last season, if you go back and look at the ADPs from 2013 and who got drafted inside the top 10 of pitchers, only two of those pitchers finished inside the top 10 at pitching. It was Kershaw and Cliff Lee. Right. I mean, Verlander was in our consensus number one pick going into last season. I think he finished 45th among pitchers. Cabrera is safe. That's why you take Cabrera number two. He's not necessarily going to be the second best fantasy player, but he's a lock to be in the top five, yeah, yeah. as long as he doesn't get hurt. Same with Trout. That's why I always skew towards hitting, all the way down the list. Because you can find someone who can breach the top 10 in pitching, the top 20 in pitching, and who can draft his, I don't know, pitcher 75 or something like that. Like the one year I grabbed Ian Kennedy in the very last round of my draft, he was the fifth most valuable fantasy pitcher. Nice. Just given the right opportunity, pitching in the right ballpark, have one hot year, it's easier to do that, make that leap as a pitcher than as a hitter. You, you usually see it coming as a hitter. Yeah. Sammy Sosa came in at 21, he had 160. Oh, was that the year, uh, one part of his run when he kept hitting 60 home runs for whatever yeah. reason? <laughs> Three times in a row, I was close to it. All right, home runs, uh, we know it's uh, Bonds and McGuire and Sosa. And I know that McGuire. one. Look, look at this, Bonds, the, 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 the top leader, Bonds, McGuire in years. Bonds, McGuire, Sosa, McGuire, Sosa, Sosa. Okay, I want to say something about that, though. If it's the same three guys that keep popping up at the top, and everyone was doing steroids as apparently they were, doesn't that make them extra good? 
that they were oh, actually yeah. able to do it. And it's the, the same well, three guys. Everybody was taking steroids. They were still better. And they were and still the pitchers better. were too. So I, I you know, I always. But I, I think, it, but I think it's a huge thing for them that they were able to repeat that consistency and have that power. I mean, Griffey's has to be up on that list somewhere too. You know, if they have an all steroid league, people would flock to the ballpark to go watch it. I would go. Well, I would rather watch it. It'd it's great, great watching. Oh, I love it. it just, I think they just let them do steroids anyway. Yeah. All right. So who you got this year? Who's your home run leader? Uh, I mean, it's hard to not to say Chris Davis, but I'm not going to say Chris Davis. I have a toss up right now. Uh, just, I, it's hard to repeat. I, th- I still think he finishes with 40 or so, yep. but I can see Pedro Alvarez breaking 40. If Giancarlo Stanton and Jose Batista can play 150 plus games, they will lead the National League and American League in home runs. I'm going to go with uh, Stanton in the National League. If he plays, though. And I'm going the guy to, only plays like Yeah, I got to pick him. Here. And I'm going to go with Chris Carter in the American League. I like Chris Carter a Might lot. be the He's only hits he gets is the home runs, you, but... We're doing that league together. Did you keep Chris Carter? I did eight bucks. That's, that's not I, bad. I just thought it was it's, worth it for eight bucks. Cheap power. It, it, I, listen, I got to build all the, the other uh, you get some categories average. around yeah. it, but for eight dollars, so we'll see what happens. And he qualifies, uh, do qualify first he base is. in our field. I think people overlook that. Um, let's see, we got oh, you four, know, you well, know someone else who does that. Mm-hmm. Who I it just for some reason I always forget about him and I fail to bring him up. So I'm going to bring him up right here. As he's probably on the waiver wire in your league. Mitch Moreland qualifies at first, qualifies at outfield. He's 25 home runs in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Good lineup, too. Probably generates a lot of RBI opportunities. Nobody will have a draft. He'll go undrafted. Yeah, yeah. Run scored. In a season? Run scored in a season. I mean, Ricky Anderson? It's your guy, Billy Hamilton. Oh, the, the Billy Hamilton. 198. What's Henderson's top? Uh, Babe Ruth, 177. Google, that's what you say. Lou, Lou Gehrig, 167. Billy Hamilton, twice. He was comes in number six. Tip O'Neill. <laughs> Lou Gehrig, uh, Babe Ruth, Wee Willie Keeler. Oh, Fred Dunlap. Babe Ruth, a lot, all over. <laughs> Kane mean, Kelly. Oh, Fred Dunlap. Like, you know, uh, where is Billy Hamilton again? Yeah, How is this guy not Jeff, in all Jeff, Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell. 2000. Yeah. Wow. Um, not not 152 who I runs. As the modern day top player How on this. How many times Hamilton is on here? Apparently he was really good in the day. He's not. Uh, we got some Babe Ruth action going on. Where's Ricky on? Henderson? Ted Williams is up here. And maybe they don't let him qualify. Uh, like Vince Coleman must. There's Rick Craig Anderson. Biggio. Ricky Anderson, 146. 1985. Okay. Sosa. All right. So who you, who's your one scored leader? Will it be Billy Hamilton? Yeah, it won't be. It'll be Mike Trout. There's no. Mike Trout. If if it's not him, he'll finish one, two, or three. So last year it was Matt Carpenter. I don't expect that to repeat itself again. The Cardinals batted 47 points higher with runners in scoring position than any other team in baseball. That's not going to happen again. I don't care how lucky they get. It's just, it's unsustainable. It's an unrepeatable number. So Carpenter, even with his high batting average of balls in play, that's going to come down. He's just not going to have the opportunity to score runs like he did. Trout is the best player in baseball. He gets on base, and the guys who hit behind him are good players, so they knock him in when he gets on. So, And he can steal bases to get in position. Carpenter doesn't steal bases. Which is really weird. He seems like a guy who would. Like he hits lead off. So weird. It is. Well, he has no power. He hits lead off, but he doesn't steal bases either. Like yeah. it, it just it, it, none of it adds up. I'm down on Carpenter. By all, right. Right. all right. I don't. I don't believe in him at all. So Trout, that's your prediction. Okay. Trout. Uh, stolen bases. We'll go to our final category. Stolen bases. The one year season record. It's not Ricky Anderson. Is it Billy? Ham- is it fake Billy Hamilton? No, but Billy Hamilton stole 111 twice. Who's who's number one here? Who? Hugh, Hugh Nikolai. Who is that? I don't know, but he stole 138 bases in 1887. There was both a lot of offense and a lot of pitching, all at the same it, time. It seemed like there was a lot of pitching and a lot of small ball. You see no home run leaders from this <laughs> era whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, Ricky Anderson won 30 in 1982. Lou oh, Brock won 18. 118. Vince Coleman, a lot of Vince Coleman on that yeah. list. My man, Billy Ham- I got, I'm in, so intrigued by Billy Hamilton. Do you, think, Kay, do you think Billy Hamilton leads, is he your pick to lead the league in stolen bases this year? He's not for Yeah, me. You, you, you know why? He, he actually, I, I think he's going to be able to get on base enough and play enough defense to stay in the lineup. But, and when you're picking him from a fantasy perspective, even if he only gets in a half a season because he's not doing it, he's still going to have enough stolen bases and enough runs scored to make it a 20-something dollar value in an auction. I don't know what round that translates to, but they're going to give him some time here. And he could just come in and pinch run and steal well, the base the and score a run I, as well. I think he'd be more valuable as a pinch runner. They bring him it's in the a, 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 Red Billy. Sox won a World Series that way, right? Yeah. Bring Roberts, 
steal ba basically, if they brought Hamilton in at one point every game to steal a base, there's a he would crucial point. Let, let, let's say he's, he didn't even have to steal the base; he just messed the pitcher up. Just get on the base. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, maybe, and maybe they can. You know, he serves up a gopher ball, just being too distracted. I, I think that that is a real thing, by the way. Uh, stats do bear that out. Right. That you can speed guys do mess with the pitcher's minds, but when you look at it. And he, let's say he gets 100 and you put him on first base 162 times. He's going to steal 170 bases. Sometimes he'll get thrown out. Other times he'll take first and third, second and third. So I, I, I think that's where he would be more valuable because he couldn't hurt you in batting average. All right, so who's your guy this year? Uh, Jacoby Ellsbury. 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 At, How is he going to stay in the lineup? Maybe, okay, maybe so. If he's not hurt. If he's healthy, he'll be him. Give, or, give me your contingent pick. Everett Cabrera. Cabrera. Okay. Everett Cabrera. Without the steroids, they're going to run. They can run without steroids. I don't know. Did might have helped them? It, it probably did help them. I, I mean, who else is a speed? There's a there's a dearth of speed in baseball. There really is. Yeah, but a lot of these people have. Well, no. But you all know the what? good all the good speed guys can't hit. You know what? Major league teams only stole an average of 95 bases a year last year. That's higher teams. That's crazy when you think about it. That means Billy Hamilton could realistically steal more bases than entire teams. Yeah, I mean that, that's crazy. So, but if you get one of those guys who steals 35, 45 bases. That's that really is a huge well, deal when you consider how many lack of stolen. And that's why I really like Peter Borges. If he can win the starting job, in great defender, he should be able to stay in the line. Exactly, and exactly. Enough. That's exactly the thing. But I'd prefer he at first instead of eighth because they won't want him necessarily stealing. No one's going to pay any mind to it with the pitcher up, and all that. But if he hits first, he can score a ton of runs and he can steal forty bases. There's no reason he couldn't. I mean, Trout's going to steal around forty-five. Segura is going to steal around forty. Carlos Gomez could push fifty. Like those are. That speed, we talk about five category guys, but speed and power, you need to assess a bit differently. Because if someone is elite in power, it almost counts as two categories because no one does it. Same as speed. If you can get someone who steals 50 bases, that's worth five times as much as basically anyone else in the category who's even considered good. Because most people just get zero, one, or two. If you can get 50, that's huge. Sliding Billy Hamilton, that was his nickname. That's a good name. Yeah. People have bad nicknames. If anybody days. out there knows anything about this Billy Hamilton character, I, uh, I know a bit about him. I know. Tweet me or give me a call or something. Uh, he's from Newark, New Jersey. Uh, he, played he played for the, the Phillies, the Bean Eaters, Eaters and the <laughs> Cowboys. Uh, he died in uh, 1940. He's in the Hall of Fame. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, Veterans Committee player in 1961. He, he couldn't get in. He should have been the first ballot sitting there with everybody else. <laughs> he, he tops all these lists. William Robert Hamilton.